Kazakhstan is situated in Central Asia and is the largest and strongest economy in the region. It is the world's largest landlocked country by land area and the ninth largest country in the world. In 1920, Kazakhstan became an autonomous republic within the Soviet Union. It officially gained independence on the 16th of December 1991, making it the last republic to declare independence from Soviet rule. Nasaltan Nazarbayev became the nation's first president following its independence and has held the position for more than 20 years. Found within the Aktobi and Kizilorda provinces of Kazakhstan is the Aral Sea, which also crosses the border into Uzbekistan. The name Aral Sea means Sea of Islands. This natural lake was once the fourth largest lake in the world, covering an approximate area of 68,000 square kilometers. The Aral Sea was once a fishing hub and the main source of income for many people. Prior to the 1960s, the Aral Sea fishing industry was in its prime, providing employment for more than 40,000 fishermen. The lake produced one-sixth of the entire Soviet Union's fish catch. In the 1960s, the Soviet government decided that the rivers Amudaya and the Sidaya, which flowed into the Aral Sea, should be diverted for the cultivation of agricultural produce. This was part of the Soviet's plan for cotton to become a major export. By the late 1960s, as a result of these various irrigation canals built by the Soviet Union, between 20 and 60 cubic kilometers of water was going to land instead of the Aral Sea. This meant that most of the water supply had been diverted and soon after the irrigation canals took effect, the Aral Sea began to shrink. The irrigation canals dug for cotton farming resulted in a desert bloom but had a markedly adverse effect on the Aral Sea's volume. The most obvious effect was the water depletion and the negative effect on the lake's water quality. Cotton production consumes large amounts of water, requires a large labor force, and can cause water and environmental pollution due to the mixing of used field water and lake water. The Adel Sea's biodiversity was already considered to be low prior to 1960. There were a mere 24 species of fish and only 180 land animal species. The decrease in the water level and an increase in the salinity and toxicity of the water resulted in the extinction of most of the 24 fish species. The same could also be seen with the land animals, of which only a few dozen remain. The loss of protection provided by the large body of water meant that many fish species became vulnerable to the predation of land animal species. Due to the decrease of fish species in the Adel Sea, species better adapted to saline conditions were introduced to the lake in order to maintain the 44,000 ton of fish per annum that were procured through commercial fishing prior to the 1960s. These newly introduced fish provided intense competition to the already vulnerable native species. The Aral Sea's recession took its toll on Kazakhstan's economy. 
The once thriving fishing industry experienced devastating effects as a result of the decrease in the lake size and the increase in its salinity. Fishing towns along the shores became ship graveyards with harbors that were once on the very shore of the lake now lying miles away from the edge of its waters. The once prominent industry of muskrat tapping, which took place along the deltas of the Amu Daya and the Sea Daya, were also destroyed because of the semi-aquatic animals relying on the large body of water for their habitat. Owing to its continued shrinkage, the lake was left with huge open plains which were often covered with salt and toxic chemicals as a result of weapons testing, pesticide and fertilizer runoff, and industrial projects. Wind sweeping across the large open plains would pick up the chemicals and transport them to surrounding areas where they would cause respiratory illnesses and cancer. This has had a drastic impact on the people living in the surrounding areas as there has been a high fatality rate amongst vulnerable parts of the population. By 1990, the Adel Sea had dried up so much that it split into two distinct parts, which are now called the North and South Adel Seas. Once this had taken place, a local governor and villagers created a sand dam that allowed the sea level in the North Adel Sea to stabilize. This was not a long-term solution. By the end of the 1990s, it had been abandoned. Although the World Bank financed Kazakhstan to build a proper dam at the southern border of the Northern Basin in the early 2000s, the lake had shrunk to 10% of its original size. However, a year after the dam's completion, water levels rose by a third. The southern Adel Sea, which lies mostly in Uzbekistan, has been left to its own fate, only receiving excess water from the northern Adel Sea. As a result of the rise in water levels of the Adel Sea, fish stocks have also increased, particularly amongst economically profitable fish, and are also more easily accessible to fishermen. Moreover, fish that were once vulnerable to land animal predation have better protection, which allows them to increase in numbers. The northern Adel Sea surface has increased by 750 square kilometers between the years 2003 and 2008. This, along with a 12 meter increase in depth in the same time period, gives hope that the Adel Sea is on the mend.